create index statement you specify that you are going to use the BTS which stands for the basic text search um, access method that's the index access index method and then you specify specify the external space in this case BTS underscore EXT space in which you want uh, C to C to show the index once you create that the index is available to use from uh, your queries so for you to invoke the usage of this index from the IDS uh, optimizer and executor you have to specify the filter using this predicate called BTS underscore contains so you specify the pattern to search uh, as the second argument to this uh, BTS contains uh, filter and IDS will uh, in use the C in index and uh, search the column for the uh, for either the word uh, you are given or multiple words you are given or either a pattern or uh, the last example uh, you see is the proximity search so it tries to see if uh, there are there are words uh, matching your pattern within your uh, within your document. So so th th so as you can see, creating and using a text search index in IDS version level is uh, pretty simple and straightforward. Stored procedure enhancements in IDS version 11. IDS 11 has introduced new control flow statements within stored procedure la language. Uh, let's look at look in detail about each of those things. The dreaded go to statement. I know go to is not not the most popular uh, statement within uh, uh, modern languages, uh, but th this has been uh, sometimes a porting issue from other uh, database platforms to IDS, uh, and sometimes uh, uh, way out for uh, badly designed uh, loops within the within any language. So you can, uh, in this case. Uh, you have uh, we have created a label called less val and uh, you can uh, jump from anywhere within the stored procedure uh, uh, program into this uh, label uh, note that you can uh, jump into a label even before it's uh, defined within the procedure and that's normal in, in most of the programming languages so it's pretty simple and straightforward. Loop IDS supported uh, the for loop to loop through this uh, to to enable looping uh, through multiple values uh, in in a list. Uh, IDS uh, now supports the loop statement wherein you have a endless, uh, essentially infinite loop, but within the loop construct we provide the exit loop statement so that you can determine dynamically when to exit from this uh, loop obviously if you do not have the exit statement within the loop this loop will loop forever so it's important to code this uh, carefully so as to you, you won't uh, run your uh, procedure in an infinite loop it's basically buyer beware you can uh, not only simply have a uh, loop statement which uh, uh, runs in an infinite fashion you can use the loop as a block within a for for loop so basically in, in this example we have a for x in 1 to uh, a so uh, it, it loops from uh, one to one to a uh, continu continuously, and at the end of the uh, when the end value is reached for the x, 
the loop simply exits. So this is a implicit exit for the loop. So note the difference uh, here. Here is because the loop statement has followed uh, a for statement. This is not an infinite loop. Whereas the previous statement or uh, in the previous slide we did not uh, have the loops uh, st statement immediately following a for loop. So that's why if you don't have an exit uh, within the loop statement loop uh, block you will get an infinite loop uh, even in this case you can have an exit loop, exit loop uh, to exit from this uh, uh, for loop there are uh, there is slightly more uh, uh, detailed ex example of, of this loop statement there is another uh, scenario where uh, you can use the loop uh, block within a while block so this is uh, another example of uh, how you can use the loop statement you can combine loop go to exit uh, exit loop end loop uh, and exit a particular loop by labeling a loop in this case we have labeled the while loop as a, as the main loop and for loop as the factor loop so within that you can specify when you exit you can specify which loop you want to exit to Yet another improvement that we have done in the stored procedure recompilation is to avoid uh, transactional failures when you had to recompile the sys procedures automatically. Uh, the stored uh, SQL statements in the stored procedures get what is known as a dependency list. For each of the uh, statements within stored procedure, we keep a list of dependent uh, tab tables and other objects. Uh, that the uh, statement uses. Whenever there is change in uh, any of those objects, that means a table was dropped and recreated, or a index was created on a table, or a new uh, statistics was collected for a uh, table, when you execute the stored procedure next, we automatically recompile the statements that access. Uh, those objects. If multiple sessions try to uh, re recompile a statement, the same statement, uh, what used to happen before was they would uh, recompile the statement and try to write back, write back the plan into the uh, into the sysproc plan. If they try to do that simultaneously within the within separate transactions one of them would get a 211 error because th uh, the other uh, session has written the plan and not really committed the transaction so they it still has the lock uh, lock on the sysproc plan sysproc plan entry for that particular statement so so in ids uh, 10 dot uh, xc7 and and in ids 11.10xc2 uh, we have fixed this issue so that uh, when you when multiple sessions uh, recompile the same statement uh, for whatever reason and uh, uh, they will uh, write the uh, plan back into the catalog in a separate transaction so that there, there won't be any locking errors and in IDS we have det we do detect any of the uh, race around conditions to see if there are multiple uh, sessions are trying to recompile exactly the same statement at exactly the same time and even if they do that we allow them to do that and uh, uh, we handle any of the locking issues implicitly so basically you get this uh, feature for free without having to do anything this so these are the are the best features uh, from the application point of view. Okay, the last topic I'm going to talk about 